Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So yes, I'm back again. And if you saw my video yesterday, you're probably wondering, why am I back already? Well, I had another champion that I wanted to take up. And I worked to get this other champion up. If you think you can guess who it is, which if you've been following, you kind of know who it is already. But leave a comment below if you want to take a guess. But we're about to reveal it in five, four, three, two, one. Of course, Quicksilver. So let me tell you something. First, after I ranked up uh, the champion I did yesterday, I don't want to spoil it in case you guys haven't watched it yet. I ran out of ISO for that class or whatever. So I started opening up crystals to get ISO. And I got a surprise. I got a new five-star champion. And guess who it was? Yeah, Abomination. So I have almost all of the five-star champion. So it's a very low chance for me to get a new one. So that came as a big surprise. So I was like, okay, this is cool. All right. Now, um, I also ran out of a lot of uh, materials. Let me tell you what I had to do in order to get enough materials to take Quicksilver up to rank three. I didn't have the T5 basics, so I went to the um, Glory store and I maxed out, bought every single T5 basic fragment that you could. Went to the uh, Loyalty store and there was one for 100,000 uh, fragments, the 22,500 fragments. So between those two, I was able to get two T5 basics between the loyalty store and the glory store. Then uh, three of them, I opened up some other crystals and was able to get enough for three T5 basics. All right. So I was working it. Uh, I was also short T4 class catalyst. What I ended up doing there was going to um, the uh, Battleground store, and there was a selector for T4 class catalyst. I had to use that for both the champion I, I did yesterday and this one. So I really worked it, and I am drained of resources, okay? Uh, I'm going to have to you know, build them back up before I take anybody else up. Uh, but I had to. I wanted to get this guy up um, to rank three so bad. Uh, he is fun. And I was actually looking um, to see if his signature ability was really worth me putting a lot into him right now. But I decided to wait. And I might still do that. We'll see who I take up to rank four, um, whether it's going to be the champion that you just saw him or another champion. And then we'll see. Now, you may notice that I said, forget about using the same class ISO. I had opened up a bunch and, uh, and I had the same class. And I was like, you know what? Forget it. I'm always selling my ISO because they're always expiring. And I had just recently, um, I forgot where I got them, but it's like a hundred and something of the, uh, uh, was it tier four um, basic ISO. And I'm just like, I'm going to end up selling those. I know I am. And it's not like I need the gold. All right. So I was like, let me just go ahead and do this. It's getting late and I'm tired. So I just started grabbing ISO that was about to um, expire next. And I'm very happy 
that they added the select all button because that's pretty much what I was using because honestly, in my position, it doesn't really matter. You know, you want to save, if you are having goal issues, you don't want to use uh, ISO that's off class. Basic ISO, don't use it. Use class ISO all the time and that's gonna give you the best bang for your buck. However, for me, didn't really care. Um, but in any case, we took uh, Quicksilver up. Uh, I had already duped him. And so I just dumped a few more uh, Sig Stones into him. And uh, I took a look at his signature ability. And I looked at it for a little while. And I'm like, mm, it looks good. I don't know if it's absolutely necessary to have him at a high Sig. But he's one of the top five prestige champions as well. So I'm going to, if I take him to rank four, he's going to get maxed anyway. You know, so um, I'm not going to dump all of my Sig Stones into him right now. Instead, I said, you know what? Let me, you know, take up, um, take him up to like as if he was duped twice. Okay, so Sig 40. And then we'll, uh, you know, just go from there. But he is fun. He is awesome. And, uh, we will go into Realm of Legends and play around with him for a little bit and uh, see what he can do. All right. So I'm going to go in here with just Quicksilver. No synergies. I am running suicides. So bear that in mind when you look at the uh, damage that he's doing. And I'm going to be pretty frank. I still don't know how to play him effectively. All right. All I know is I start with a heavy attack um, and I'll be able to build up the whiplashes faster. Um, I think, what is it, double or something like that. Uh, I learned that if I fire off the special one, I instantly have over 300 of his uh, momentum charges, which puts a slow on him. Doesn't really matter against Winter Soldier, but I'm still learning how to play this guy. Now, Building up those whiplash charges is something. Uh, it looks like if I dex, it refreshes it, uh, refreshes the uh, timer. And if I end with a medium combo, it ends it. Uh, I mean, it uh, also refreshes it. Uh, the special two just does crazy, crazy damage based on, I think, the uh, whiplash. Now, see right there, his whiplash is... Uh, expired and Winter Soldier took some damage. Now, I still have questions, okay? And I haven't really looked into um, Quicksilver uh, in depth. But what I'm doing right here is I wanted to get to that, you know, whatever, full momentum and then fire off the special three. And that's what I did right here. And I love his special three. It's really cool. Look at this. Just play the game, toss it up. It brought that put a chair that is just a cool cool animation okay makes me smile all right and so then i'm just going in while he's stunned and you see how i stop right there because i'm still not used to you got to get used to his uh cadence and see that it kind of threw me off which is why i got hit so i got to get used to it all right so uh as far as i know he's not immune to anything so not exactly suicide friendly, but he's still fun. And then there's the special two. I had to do it just so you guys could see it. And uh, it did some good damage, but of course he took recoil damage. But just look at this, man. He is a lot of fun and that's slow. We're gonna see later on, uh, I'm gonna go up against Juggernaut and uh, use the slow to kind of shut down his unstoppable. That's really the only um, utility I think I show in this video. So look at that. Boom, 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 boom. And he's done. So some of the questions that I have, and, and you guys can help me out with uh, tips and everything on, on using him, and I do read the comments, but managing his whiplashes. Say I have a lot of whiplashes 
built up. And I'm refreshing them, I'm refreshing them. Okay, I got that. You know, decks to refresh and, and all that pause, all that good stuff. But what if I want to detonate them? What do I do? I've had a couple of times where I had enough whiplashes, and you're gonna see it in this video, I had enough whiplashes to kill them. But I was trying to let them expire, and they would not expire because I kept dexing and uh, you know doing all of that. And I was like, what's going on? This fight could have been over a long time ago, but I just don't know. So help me out um, with some tips on how to play this guy. And uh, I will definitely uh, be playing with him and practicing. Uh, we have a new event quest out right now. So I'll probably bring him uh, for the science chapter. Got to do it. And uh, we'll see how it goes. But yeah, so I'm, I'm kind of experimenting here with uh, different uh, things. I do want to cycle his special uh, three, mainly because I'm running suicides. And um, trying to avoid that recoil damage. Because as you can see with his health, and you'll see it over the course of uh, the next couple of fights, because he's not super, uh, he's not suicide friendly, um, he takes a lot of that damage. So I could mitigate some of that if I can, you know, remember and manage his uh, whiplashes, because then the fights can be over uh, pretty quickly. And this one made me really smile, because I'm sitting here, right? And I'm like, wait a minute. That's a girl. What you poked? What did you poke? You better poke her in the side. <laughs> oh, man. And then here, I'm trying to get used to his cadence. Da -da -doom, da -da -doom, da -da -doom, da -da you know, it's, it's, it's a very different cadence. And I don't blame anybody if they don't like it. I didn't like it at first. And I was trying to get used to it, and I saw how useful he was, and... Once I got a little bit more used to, I'm not completely used to it, but once I got a little more used to it, it was kind of fun, you know? And so that's why he was probably my second most wanted champion out of the featured pool. Uh, I, I didn't want him the most, but he was my second. And if you want to know who my first was, watch my video from yesterday. All right. Look at that. Woo. Boom. Always when I'm trying to record, I get these calls. And let me see. Name unavailable. You know why the name is unavailable? Because they're trying to buy my house. And I keep telling them no. All right. Anyway, the first, this is the last fight, but this is the one where we see some utility okay so in the beginning i was trying to get him to parry and i was having a little bit of an issue but we got it okay so here we go and this time i kind of waited because i didn't want him to fire his special one first and then boom fired my special one he's got a slow on him now i don't have to worry about the unstoppable just like that if you're dealing with anybody that has like that unstoppable or anything he is a great option for them. Okay? So I was able to go in. I went in. Ham. Look at this. Boom, boom. Don't care. Go right back in. Loving it. Loving it. Now, in this fight, I believe um, was the one where I had, like, so many uh, of the uh, Wither charges on him. And I'm like, I mean, not Wither, uh, Whiplash charges on him. And I was just like, come on, detonate, detonate. But I kept doing things that caused them not to uh, expire quick enough. So uh, if I can figure out how to do that right away, that'll help me out. But keep watching the uh, whiplash timer. Okay? So look at this. It, it made this fight so much nicer. Don't have to worry about it. Okay? So you see here, I'm, I, I started to dash back, but then I was like, wait a minute. I can go faster by hitting the heavy. Then... See, look, I'm at terminal velocity now. Quick, gotta gotta get used to it. I'm, I'm learning, I'm learning. All right. 
And then I'm just like, okay, I don't have to worry about him firing off a special and going unstoppable or anything. So this is cool. All right. And so now, boom, boom. Da-da-da, da-da-da, da-da-da. Now you saw he took a burst of damage. And I'm just going in. Going in. And, and just keep watching the whiplash charge. I think at this point... I think I fired off a special two. Let me see. Did I? Yeah. So I was trying to do it a little bit faster. So I was trying to figure out, does, does that detonate it? But it wasn't detonated. Look, look at the whiplash charges. Look at him. He should be dead. Long time. But I'm like, come on, detonate, detonate. And I just said, you know what? Forget it. Let's just, you know, beat him to death. So he dies. Look, look how many whiplash charges I have on him. That was, what, 120-something? But anyway, that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought of the video. And give me tips and tricks. All right? Take care. And you all have a blessed day.